the ceiling of the Eastern Gate of Jerusalem, commonly known as the Golden Gate, in the 16th century under Ottoman rule holds significant historical and religious implications. This closure is intertwined with biblical prophecy, particularly in Ezekiel, which states that the gate shall only be opened for the prince, identified by Christians as Jesus. Beyond its historical context, the sealed gate symbolizes Jesus as the exclusive path to salvation. The connection between Jesus and the sealed gate is pivotal as it awaits its opening during his second coming, signifying the fulfillment of God's plan for redemption. This enduring symbol amalgamates predictions, past events, and deeply held beliefs, captivating both believers and scholars. Join us as we embark on a journey to unravel the reasons behind the sealing of the gate and explore its profound implications until Jesus' second coming. Many centuries ago, wise individuals foretold that the story surrounding the Eastern Gate would be extraordinary, and millions of people anxiously awaited its eventual opening. This gate serves as both a tangible sign and a symbol of divine messages evoking feelings of reverence and faith in a higher power. Situated in the heart of Jerusalem, this gate has remained closed for an extended period, captivating individuals' curiosity and challenging our understanding of history and faith. Given the mounting anticipation, numerous questions have arisen regarding the captivating narrative of this sealed gate, including why historical accounts assert that only one person recognized by Christians as Jesus, can pass through it. To comprehend the significance of this sealed gate, one must first delve into the historical accounts surrounding it. The gate in question is none other than the Eastern Gate of Jerusalem, also known as the Golden Gate. In ancient times, this gate played a crucial role in the city's defense and held immense religious significance for its inhabitants. However, why was it sealed, and who made this decision? These questions loom large in the minds of many, and their answers hold paramount importance. The story takes us back to the 16th century, when a powerful leader, Sultan Suleiman, belonging to the Ottoman Empire, ordered the gate's closure. This decision transcended mere architectural considerations or concerns for the city's protection. It was deeply intertwined with the religious beliefs and the anticipated fulfillment of sacred prophecies. Wise individuals of that time perceived the sealing of the gate as more than just a physical barrier preventing passage. It held immense historical and spiritual significance, resonating with the beliefs and predictions cherished by Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. For Christians, the sealing of the gate represented the fulfillment of prophecies, validating the events foretold in the Bible and pointing towards future occurrences as elucidated in Christian teachings. As we delve deeper into this ancient event, we begin to grasp its profound importance. The closed gate is not relegated to the past, rather, it serves as a connecting sign between history, prophecies, and the beliefs held by countless individuals. The prophecy in question finds its roots in the book of Ezekiel, specifically in Ezekiel. Within this prophetic passage, the wise man and prophet Ezekiel speaks of a gate that must remain closed because the Lord, the God of Israel, has passed through it. According to the prophecy, this gate shall remain shut, only to be opened for the prince. For Christians, this prince refers none other than Jesus Christ himself, highlighting his exceptional role in the narrative of salvation. Considering these elements, one cannot help but ponder the connection between Jesus and the sealed Eastern Gate. This connection lies at the crux of comprehending the prophecy's significance and its implications within Christian teachings. In Christian belief, Jesus is regarded as the embodiment of ancient prophecies, representing the spiritual truths they convey. As alluded to by Ezekiel, the sealed gate assumes great significance in Jesus' life signifying that only through him can one discover the unique path to salvation, as he himself declares in the Bible, particularly in John. Thus, the sealing of the gate extends beyond a mere historical event. It serves as a profound symbol, 
embodying Christian's belief in Jesus as the sole intermediary between humanity and God. This symbol assumes even greater meaning when contemplating Jesus' eventual return. Many Christians firmly believe that when Jesus opens the sealed gate, it will mark a momentous occasion, signifying the fulfillment of God's plan for salvation and the establishment of his kingdom. Throughout history, the Eastern Gate has held immense significance within Jerusalem, a city deeply intertwined with multiple religious traditions. It has borne witness to numerous momentous events, endowing it with deep meaning. In terms of faith, the sealed gate transcends its physical attributes. It symbolizes God's promises and the collective expectations of believers. Christian beliefs illustrate the convergence of religion, history, and faith, with the sealed gate serving as a tangible representation of cherished traditions and a focal point for future expectations, particularly Jesus' anticipated return. Consequently, this gate is not merely an enigmatic relic of the past, it stands as a potent symbol that continues to inspire faith and captivate the imagination of believers. Its closure represents a moment frozen in time, waiting for the day when it will be opened by Jesus himself, ushering in a new era and the fulfillment of divine prophecies. It is important to note that interpretations and beliefs regarding the sealed Eastern Gate may vary among different religious traditions and individuals, while the connection between the gate, Jesus, and biblical prophecies is primarily emphasized within Christian teachings. Other religious perspectives may offer alternative interpretations or assign different meanings to the gate's sealing. The sealing of the Eastern Gate, also known as the Golden Gate, in Jerusalem in the 16th century holds profound historical and religious implications. It is closely tied to biblical prophecies, particularly in Ezekiel, and symbolizes Jesus as the exclusive path to salvation in Christian belief. The sealed gate represents the anticipation of Jesus' eventual return and the fulfillment of God's plan for redemption. Its closure serves as a tangible reminder of faith, history, and the profound connection between humanity and the divine. The Golden Gate also known as the Eastern Gate, holds a rich historical and religious significance in Jerusalem. Located beneath the closed entrance of the gate is an arch, believed to be a remnant of a previous gate. The gate's exact construction date remains unknown due to restrictions on archaeological work at the Temple Mount imposed by Muslim authorities. Nevertheless, historians and scholars have put forth various theories regarding its origins, one of the earliest references to an eastern gate comes from the writings of Josephus, a first-to-century historian. In his book Antiquities of the Jews, Josephus mentions a gate located at the far northeastern end of the inner sacred court. Additionally, the Mishnah, a Jewish text, describes an old causeway extending from the Temple Mount eastward over the Kidron Valley towards the Mount of Olives. Rabbi Eliezer disagrees with this description and suggests that it was actually marble pillars with cedar boards that were used by the high priest and his helpers. This gate, known as the Shushan Gate, was reserved for the exclusive use of the high priest and his assistants during specific religious rituals such as those involving the red heifer or the scapegoat on Yom, Kippur, Opinions among scholars regarding the construction date of the current Golden Gate have varied throughout history. Some scholars in the 19th and early 20th centuries proposed that the gate was built during periods preceding Islam. However, more recent research by scholars such as Hamilton, Sharon, Bendoff, Rosen Ayalan, Safrir, and Wilkinson suggests a dating to the 7th-8th century AD during the Umayyad period Nonetheless, there are still differing views today, with some suggesting a late Byzantine date and others favoring an early Umayyad date. According to the Dutch archaeologist Lien Rittmeyer, who extensively studied the gate in the 1970s, the massive gateposts inside the Golden Gate likely belong to an older structure known as the Shushan Gate. The Mishnah Midah 1-3 
describes the Shushan Gate as the only gate in the Eastern Wall during the First Temple Period. This finding suggests that the gate has a long history, possibly dating back to the time of the First Temple. During the Ottoman period, an inner recess or vestibule was constructed on the western side of the Golden Gate. This recess served as a location for brick burning, with the bricks produced being used to renovate structures within the Temple Mount enclosure, also known as the Haram Es Sharif. Initially, a small mosque was built adjacent to the Golden Gate to accommodate the brick burners. However, in the 19th century, the Ottoman Sultan ordered the destruction of this mosque and a section of the gate's wall to make room for renovations. As a result, two new arches and a new wall were added to the western interior of the gate. The gatehouse of the Golden Gate is accessed from the Temple Mount by descending a broad flight of stairs. The ground floor of the gatehouse is shaped like a rectangle, measuring 24 meters by 17 meters, with exterior walls surrounding it. The length of this space is divided by a row of columns, creating two equal sections. Below ground level, within a tomb, the top of an ancient arch is visible with the lower stone still buried underground. This discovery suggests that the original ground level was much lower than it is today. During the Ottoman period, the gate was repurposed as a watchtower. The Golden Gate itself is a rectangular stonework structure with two decorated facades. Unlike the other gates within the Al-Aqsa compound, the eastern facade extends two meters outward from the wall, instead of being built level with it. The gate consists of two passages, evident from its plan and main elevations. The ground floor contains a vaulted hall divided by four columns into two aisles, leading to the Door of Mercy, Bab al-Rama, and the Door of Repentance, Bab al-Tawbah. An upper floor room features two roof domes as its ceiling, while three pairs of domes cover the passages. Originally, the eastern facade of the Golden Gate had two large doorways separated by a column measuring 3.90 meters in width. The doorways featured semicircular arches and decorated friezes. However, these doorways were blocked during the Ottoman period. The architectural style and decorative elements of the Golden Gate bear similarities to features found in other non-Muslim structures in the Levant. Passing through the gate's openings leads to a rectangular domed vestibule measuring 20.37 meters in length and 10.50 meters in width. The hall was initially adorned with six shallow elliptical domes, later modified to two. These domes are separated by arches of elliptical shape, which spring from two pilasters at the entrances and two central columns. The unique architectural shift of the facade the Golden Gate, also known as the Eastern Gate, is a significant historical and religious site in Jerusalem. It holds importance in Jewish, Christian, and Islamic traditions and is believed to have a long history dating back to ancient times. The gate is located on the eastern side of the old city walls and provides access to the Temple Mount, a holy site for all three Abrahamic religions. The exact construction date of the Golden Gate is uncertain due to limited archaeological research in the area. However, historical accounts and architectural evidence suggest that the gate has undergone several phases of construction and renovation over the centuries. In Jewish tradition, the Golden Gate is associated with the arrival of the Messiah. According to prophecy, the Messiah will enter Jerusalem through the Eastern Gate when he comes to establish his kingdom. This belief has led to the gate's significance in Jewish eschatology and its designation as a site for prayer and pilgrimage. In Christian tradition, the Golden Gate is associated with Jesus' entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. It is believed to be the gate through which Jesus passed on a donkey, receiving acclamation from the crowds. The event is described in the New Testament Gospels and is commemorated by Christians during the Holy Week. In Islamic tradition, the Golden Gate is known as the Baba Rama or the Gate of Mercy. It is believed to be the place where the Day of Judgment will begin, with the resurrection of the dead. 
Muslims also view the gate as a site of mercy and forgiveness, and it holds a significant place in their religious practices. The architectural features of the Golden Gate reflect a mix of different periods and styles. The current structure is a result of various construction and restoration work carried out over the centuries. The gate consists of a rectangular stone building with two decorated facades. It has two passages, each leading to a different entrance. The gatehouse of the Golden Gate is accessed by descending a flight of stairs from the Temple Mount. The ground floor of the gatehouse is rectangular, and its interior is divided by columns into two sections. Below ground level, the top of an ancient arch is visible, indicating that the original ground level was lower than it is today. The gate's eastern facade extends outward from the wall, unlike the other gates in the area. The ground floor features a vaulted hall with two aisles, leading to the door of mercy and the door of repentance. An upper floor room has two roof domes, and three pairs of domes cover the passages. The original doorways of the Golden Gate had semicircular arches and decorative friezes. However, they were blocked during the Ottoman period, and the gate underwent modifications and additions, despite its religious and historical significance. The Golden Gate has remained sealed for centuries. The gate was closed during the medieval period, possibly to prevent the entry of conquering armies or to symbolically block the arrival of the Messiah. Today, the gate's exterior remains visible, but its entrances are sealed shut. In summary, the Golden Gate, or Eastern Gate, in Jerusalem is a site of great religious importance in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Its exact construction date is uncertain, but it has a long history and has undergone various architectural changes over time. The gate's significance is tied to religious beliefs and traditions, and it remains a symbol of hope, redemption, and the fulfillment of prophecies. The Golden Gate in Jerusalem is a structure that raises intriguing questions regarding its connection to biblical prophecies and its role in religious traditions. This video explores the enigmatic nature of the Golden Gate, delving into its association with Ezekiel and the beliefs surrounding its significance. We will examine various perspectives, scriptural references, and historical accounts to shed light on the Gate's potential foreshadowing of future events. Join us on this journey of exploration as we unravel the mysteries surrounding the Golden Gate. The Holy Spirit allowed Peter's use of Joel under scriptural inspiration, but no statement by Jesus on the Eastern Gate exists. If we consider the Golden Gate a foretaste of the future Eastern Gate, it would rely solely on historical experience, needing more scriptural support. Cautiously viewing the Golden Gate as foreshadowing, we should ensure this interpretation aligns with the unchangeable Word of God and not solely rely on historical experiences. The Golden Gate may foreshadow God's work during the Millennial Kingdom, as long as it remains shut through miraculous circumstances. However, conclusions should be grounded in the clear statements of Scripture. Some commentaries mention a popular belief associating the Golden Gate with Ezekiel's prophecy. However, biblical expositors clarify that the gate mentioned by Ezekiel is the Temple Gate not the present-day Golden Gate. While various legends and traditions exist, including an old Jewish tradition linking the sealed gate to the return of the Shekinah in the Messianic Age, we should approach these interpretations with caution. The Golden Gate is viewed as a symbol, potentially shadowing the future East Gate of the Millennial Temple due to its location and centuries-long closure. Jewish tradition holds that the Messiah will use the Eastern Gate to enter Jerusalem. Sultan Suleiman, a Muslim ruler, attempted to prevent the Messiah's arrival by sealing the Eastern Gate with 16 feet of cement nearly 500 years ago. The sealing of the Eastern Gate in Jerusalem has captured the attention of prophecy students and believers alike. Ezekiel's book mentions a gate facing east multiple times with references to the glory of the Lord leaving and returning through the gate. Some interpret these passages as references to Jesus Christ and anticipate the future unsealing of the Eastern Gate. According to Jewish tradition, 
the Shekinah, or Divine Presence, used to appear through the Eastern Gate and will reappear when the Anointed One, Messiah, comes. Christian apocryphal texts associate the Golden Gate with a meeting between the parents of Mary, symbolizing the Immaculate Conception. Muslims, too, consider the gate religiously significant, believing it to be the location of Allah's final judgment and the future resurrection. The Golden Gate's rich historical and religious significance has made it a controversial site. The Golden Gate represents more than just a physical structure. It embodies a captivating intersection of history, prophecy, and faith. Its association with pivotal events and its symbolic value transcends its physical existence. From the ceiling by Sultan Suleiman to the biblical prophecies of Ezekiel, the gate's narrative unravels layers of significance deeply embedded in religious traditions. Sealed for centuries, it stands as a testament to the enduring bond between the earthly and the divine, captivating the imaginations of believers from various religious backgrounds. The Golden Gate of Jerusalem continues to intrigue and fascinate people worldwide. Its historical, scriptural, and symbolic associations have made it a subject of speculation and contemplation. As we conclude this exploration, we invite you to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery, and we look forward to seeing you soon.